What Latia does is that it is uh, that it leaves the spirits of the customers when they see it. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sui Heng. I'm the co-founder of the Coffee Roaster. So last year in 2018, uh, it was my first year taking part in Singapore Latte Art Championships. So it was the first national coffee competition that I have been in. So uh, I was very jittery. I guess uh, I went in with the expectation of just doing my best uh, to see how I fare with um, other fellow latte artists. Yeah. So I really didn't expect uh, anything from the results. Okay. okay, so for my competition designs last year, I would say they're on the safer side because it was a seahorse, a swan and a goldfish, right? And I would say that they are, uh, they are, they are well liked, but uh, in terms of breakthrough wise, I think they, were, they didn't achieve that, right? Uh, being the second year that I'm participating in Singapore Latte Championships, of course, I went in with a little bit more confidence and I gave myself a longer runway to prepare for this competition. So I recall last year, I really only had a couple of weeks to finalize the designs and uh, get my routine in order. Yeah. But uh, this year, those issues didn't surface. Right? So I had time to really work on the designs and concept that I wanted to present to the judges. For this year, for this year's design, I went in with the mindset of creating uh, something that a Singaporean barista would be proud to pour on stage. Right? And on top of that, I, I think the current latte art scene is very centered on plants and animals. And I really wanted my designs to break through that and use latte art to showcase uh, something that is much more than those. Going in the second year, the expectations I had for myself was a little bit higher than, than the first year. It was really just there to, uh, to explore a, a new territory. But this year it was... Um, I, I wouldn't say I have a certain uh, ranking or placing, but uh, I just wanted to do better than I did last year. Day one, when I saw the stage, uh, it, it brought back a lot of memories of nostalgia, right where we left off last year. Then the first half of the day was a practice session, so we decided to do um, one round of our routine on stage while getting familiarized with the machine and grinder. Right, so the practice session went pretty well. I was feeling uh, feeling good on stage. Right. And then came the afternoon where we moved on to the first part of the um, uh, first part of the competition, which is the art bar round, right? So the art bar round is when competitors have five minutes to do um, one design on the, the, the design probably they are most proud of. Yeah. So for me, I, I prepared this design that I really wanted to show the world. So I was really really excited to pour this design out on stage for the judges and for the members of the audience, right? Day 2, and day 2 was uh, significantly more nerve-wracking because we had our stage performance for the semi-final round. Yeah. So in the semi-final round, we have to produce two sets of matching uh, latte and one set of matching macchiato, right? So, um, for me personally, that was the performance of my life. So everything felt really good. I had a lot of opportunities to engage with the judges to pour uh, my designs out for them in, in the way that I wanted to. The design started to fall very nicely into the cup, right? And yeah, the semi-finals round, in my opinion, went very well for me. Yeah, thank you so much and you did a really great job. Congratulations. Alright. Day 3 on a Saturday. Uh, finals round. When I when I woke up I felt something uh, something something was off with my body. Yeah. 
So uh, it didn't it didn't become better as the day went by. Yeah. And I remember just right before I took to the stage, I was still feeling very faint. Yeah. But uh, at that point in time, I told myself, it's now or never. So I gave whatever I could in that uh, 10 minutes of competition time and present to the best of my abilities, my designs that we have worked so hard over the last few months. Yeah. And I'm glad to say that uh, I think I left everything on stage. I created a storyline of using Latte Art to bring the judges and members of the audience on the Singapore City Tour. Welcome to all judges, I'm happy to be I'll be your tour guide for today. And today I'm going to bring you on the City Tour of Singapore. I'll have a look at the itinerary on the table. And I'll be right back with our first item of the day. Okay. So my designs were Marina Bay Sands, Singapore's cable car, uh, the Merlion, as well as a Changi Airport Tower for the Macchiato Pong. Right. So all four designs are original and I'm very proud to be able to show them on stage. What I'm trying to do in this competition is to uh, use Latte Art to transport us to places beyond our imagination. That is really what I'm here For the third runner-up goes to I'm definitely going to keep coming up with new designs. Designs that don't just represent the flora and fauna, but designs that can truly bring us to places beyond our imagination.